Docs Automator is a powerful tool for turning your data into documents. And now it's available for Google Sheets. In this demo, I want to give you a very brief overview of how this Docs Automator Google Sheets integration works and how easy it is to turn your Sheets data into professional looking documents. This is a brief overview. If you want to go more detailed, please check out the other full run through that I do of on where I focus on every feature of the integration. But now without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm here in my Docs Automator account. I click on new automation and then I select Google Sheets as my data source. First thing I need to do is I need to set the Google Docs template. In our case, there is um, a template called Docs Automator Invoice Template 2024. We can also have a look at this um, and we see Docs Automator's template syntax here with double curly brackets and also our line items syntax. I'm going to save this. This looks good. I'm going to click save and continue and then I need to select my sheet data. So I'm selecting my Google Sheet. I have one which is called Accounting 2024. And we're going to have a look at this as well. Here you see how Docs Automator expects Google Sheets to be formatted with the header row that basically gives every column a title. And that's how we identify those columns. And we have an invoices sheet here and a line items sheet. Invoices sheet is where we're printing every row. That's a list of invoices. And then line items are related, related rows to our invoices. So you can see this invoice 10,001 here, for instance, and that has one, two, three line items in our line items sheet. If we go back to our template, you can see that we have our main data here and then we have our line items data here. So we are printing a list of our line items in that line items table. Let's continue. We need to select our primary sheet. Our primary sheet is called invoices. We want to print invoices and then we need to select the primary column. Primary column is how we call our invoices. In our case, I have a column uh, titled with invoice number. Invoice number is a good way to uh, give invoices a name. Uh, document name column from where we're taking the unique name for those documents that are generated. I have a document name column for that. And then a PDF link column. This is where the generated PDF will be stored again. And we have a column called PDF. Now we're mapping our placeholders to our columns. We can use AI for that, linking map with AI here, and then AI will try to find the best matching column based on the column titles for our placeholders. You can see client name here, invoice date, client street, and we're finding the corresponding columns from our Google Sheet here on the right side. This is for our primary sheet, so all the data outside of line items, basically. Then we get to the line item part. We need to select our line item sheet. This is called line items, as we've seen before, that separate sheet in our Google Sheet. And then we need to select our primary column. Our primary column is called invoice. That's where we have the identifier. That's where we say this is invoice 10001, this is invoice 10001, or every line item has that identifier basically in the invoice column. And then we can map our data here as well. So we have product amount, unit price, and total. I save this. And now here on the right side, I can generate a preview. I'm going to generate a preview for the invoice 10001. This is going to take a second. And then we will see that we have all our data in here. So we have our client name and then an address and then our line items printed. And we have a total tax, subtotal, etc. So all our details are here. This looks good. Now I want to go ahead and actually print this from Google Sheets. I'm going to step six here, set up document creation in Google Sheets. And I'm going to use the webhook option. This is basically just a formula that you add to your Google Sheet. So I'm going to go into the Google Sheet. I have a create document column here for this already. I'm just pasting this formula in here. Now I can go ahead and I can click this. And this is now actually sending the request to Docs Automator. So this is loading now in the browser, basically sending that request and then generating that document. And we also see that the PDF is stored in the PDF column field. So this basically has a link now where it's referencing the document that just got generated. And we could we have a few more options here. We could also generate the Google Doc in addition to the PDF. I've created a Google Doc column for that here. But that gives you sort of an overview of how easy it is to generate documents from Google Sheets using Docs Automator. There's a lot more to explore, a lot more features that are in Docs Automator, but this sort of gave you a very, very quick run, run through how that works. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you want a more detailed 
run through of all the features, please check out the other video. And for now, I wish you happy automating and speak to you very soon.